Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how much money is needed to start investing. In this channel, I really want to take people from not investing at all into investing into their first stock or first exchange traded fund so that they have money in the stock market, as I see investing as the key to long-term wealth. However, a lot of people are put off by how much money they think that they need to put into the stock market. One of the most frequent questions that I get is, Anthony, how much money should I put into the stock market? In this video, I'm going to talk to you about exactly how much money you need before you can start investing. So let's get going with the video. As always, before we get going with the video, please make sure that you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any further videos. So when people start investing, they are often overwhelmed by all the different things that they can invest their money into. It could be stocks, it could be bonds, it could be exchange traded funds. And all of these things cost money. Because we've been brought up in a world where you see people investing millions into the stock market, people think that they need loads of money to just start getting into investing. However, I'm here to tell you that that is wrong. When people come up to me and say, hey look, I'm ready to invest, I've set my emergency fund up, and I'm ready to go and put my money to work in the investment market, they always say, how much do I need? Well, I'm here in this video to tell you that this is going to be a lot less than you even think. So firstly, with this money that you're going to put into the stock market, you have to make sure that you're not going to need it for anything else short term. You're not going to be able to just dip in and out of this money as, you know what, it won't return the gains that you need for long term wealth. Next, this has to be money which, should the investment value go down, that you shouldn't be too worried about it. As I say, make sure you've got things such as emergency fund set up, so you've got that buffer should emergencies happen. Because hey, if you invest into something that's particularly fruity, it could just go to zero. So now you're all set up, you've got that emergency fund and in a video previously when I talked about things which people need to do before they get into investing, watch that and then you'll be right up to speed and now you're ready to invest. Okay then, so now I hope you're all at home, I all hope you're ready to know exactly what number, the exact number that each and every one of you needs to invest. That number is as much as you want. You can start investing with such small numbers nowadays that you don't need hundreds or thousands of pounds in the bank to even invest. You can buy one share of one company for a few pounds. You can now use free trading platforms so it costs you absolutely nothing to invest into shares. You can buy an ETF which is an exchange traded fund and buy an index fund which tracks a whole index such as the S&P 500 or the FTSE 100 for only a few pounds. So you can invest with less than a hundred pounds to your name. And when I say to your name, I mean outside of your emergency fund, etc. You can also buy fractional shares. Instead of buying one share and spending hundreds, if not thousands of pounds on one company, you actually only buy a fraction of it. And you can invest for as small as, I don't know, say 10 pounds, and you can buy 0.01% of a share in a company if that's really what you want. So I'm here to say that no amount is too small to start investing. If you have £100 which you want to put into the financial markets, do it. Don't be put off. Don't think I need to hit a certain number of X hundred or X thousand. Just put that money into the stock market. Just think that no amount of money is too small. Because of the power of compounding, it's so much better to start early. It doesn't matter if right now you're only saving a few pounds and putting that into investing. Over time and compounding, this will grow to bigger and bigger sums. So in a couple of decades, hopefully, if you're patient enough, that that money will turn into bigger and bigger sums. Now I appreciate it. that probably isn't actually what you guys were thinking that you were going to hear from someone who is all into investing and is running a channel which is trying to get you to invest. but. I just really want people to start investing no matter how much money that you have. As long as they're sensible with their money and they've already got their finances sorted out. Investing into financial assets is so much of a habit. Just like getting into a habit of just saving your money, taking that money that you've then saved and investing it into say the stock market, the bond market, or the real estate market is just a habit. And if you can do that as seamlessly as possible, it will make you so much money over the long term. Many people may not be able to afford thousands of pounds a month, so just starting small and building up is perfect. Now that all being said, 
One thing which needs to be remembered is that money makes money. If your investment returns are say 5% and you only invest £100, then you're only going to get £5. However, if your investment account returns 5% and you're earning a million pounds, then hey, look, that's 50 grand. That is a lot of money. Although my aim here isn't to talk about frugality and saving money, just remember that more money makes money. And I also don't believe in cutting back so much and being an absolute minimalist and not having any money to spend on big parts of your life. What I'm talking about here is the more money that you can earn, the more money that you can invest, the more money that you can make. I think that people focus too much on saving too much money. I know this sounds odd from a personal finance channel, but I think that some people cut back so hard that they forget that they have to live their life and then actually enjoy their time on this planet. If you earn £20,000 a year, then the maximum amount of money that you can save is going to be £20,000. That's super unlikely because, hey, look, you need to sleep and you need to eat. So you won't be able to save all of that £20,000. However, if you doubled your salary to £40,000 and kept your expenses the same, then it'd be a hell of a lot easier to save £20,000. So I always think that people should actually focus on increasing the amount of money that they bring in and not always saving so that they're actually living closer to the poverty line. I hope you found this video useful and I hope that you're not too daunted should you go into investing because you really shouldn't be. You should have confidence in yourself. You should also be confident that, hey, look, you've built up your finances, you're in a great position to start investing and really don't worry about starting small. Start small, get comfortable and build up. In further videos, I'll talk to you about the different options which are available to people who start investing, where they should put their money and how they should start investing. But I just want you to appreciate that no amount is too small. Obviously, the more money that you have, the better, but don't worry about that when you're starting to invest. If you found this video useful, please let me know. And I hope that it's encouraged you to know that you don't need hundreds of thousands of pounds to start investing. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any further videos. And I'll see you next time.